Hey everybody, this is Daxon here with Noxide.org. This is video number three on how to use Autodesk 123D Design. Um, after we covered some of the basics in the first uh, one, two videos, I wanted to get into something just a little bit more harder. It's, it's not really that complex, but it is to me since I am still learning and kind of going through the process. But I want to show you how to make something like this. I'm not going to go over in this video how I actually made these fancy letters into this this border this little clip art thing I did um, make a video and I'm uploading it right now it's called how to convert any image to a 3d object um, so that'll be on my channel here um, by the time you're watching this video you can check that out and that's how I actually made this top part now I'm going to show you how I took that image since it didn't actually have a bottom these letters were just floating around and that would have been pointless I'm going to show you how you can take that and actually put it onto this base that you can see down here. You can see where there are two separate pieces. I put this top piece onto the actual box here. So I'm going to delete it and you can kind of do your own thing with me or just watch and, and kind of learn a little bit. That's fine. I'm going to delete that. So the first thing I'll do is I'll actually go and I will open up what I made here. Let's see be right here okay so that's what it actually looked like right when I converted it and I show you in that other video kind of what that looked like and how I did it it was actually really easy easier than you think if you check out the video you'll see how I turned an image into this awesome 3d object here for my website okay so what I'm going to do is make it to where I can put a base on it now I, I made this, I'm printing it right now, you hear the printer in the background probably. Um, but I made this to where I can stand it up like this part right here will actually be the bottom and I'll be able to set it up on its end to set on my desk, you know, you know, repping, repping my website here. But, uh, but yeah, um, what I want to do is actually print it like this because the 3D printer, at least the one I have, it's a little bit of a cheaper one, the Mono Price Select Mini. It'll definitely print something better laying down flat like this than it would up on its end and trying to like pile the letters up on the side of an object instead of on the top so it'll do better like this. So once you have whatever you're wanting, we're going to put a base on it so we can come up to the little square circle with the primitives button and we'll grab ourselves a cube. Scroll over a little bit. What we want to do now is select our cube and we have our options right here now I'm going to scale the cube down let's see how tall it's, it's at it says 2.5 millimeters let's go on down if we want it to stand up on its end we probably want it at least I'd say probably two should be good and we'll click the green check mark for exit now what we can do is to figure out how we can get this on top of the box and after you know which tool to use it's it's quite easy um, let's do it a few times so we'll select this and then we'll find our move tool down here and you have see all these arrows and these circles going around it the circles are going to be able to actually spin the image we want to use the arrows so that'll allow us to slide it in place so we'll kind of center it the best we can for just for just right now. And then we want to use this arrow and we want to pull it up through the surface. So we want it to be attached. Okay, so that looks pretty decent right there. Now we just need to make it a little bit bigger. Of course you can do it however you want. But I want the actual logo logo to match the same size as the box. So I can click on that again, go to our smart scale, and then I can just you know, drag it to fit our box. Just like that, should be pretty decent. And when we think it looks good, once again, click the green check mark. Now we'll kind of spin around it and make sure we don't have like nothing you know, hang it over. If so, this is going to ruin the print. You know, because it'll be printing in the air. So we definitely don't want that. 
Um, looks pretty good. Oops. Okay. I'm still kind of getting used to these controls here. So bear with me. Printers get loud in the background. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Now we can just highlight this and come up to the top to the grouping and we want to group them kind of makes it into one and then all we have to do is highlight it one more time and we can export selection and then you can save it as a 123DX file but STL is the most compatible it's what I like to use and you can just name it whatever you want I'll just call it test for YouTube video and then you can click save and that's that now for my printer the mono press select mini I it can only print G code files so what I'll need to do now is open up cure which actually came with my printer on the SD card so I'll open up cura and load my file up test for YouTube video and there it is so now what we can do is I'm going to rotate it and click out of it click on it again and now I can just scale it doesn't matter which one I pull scale it however big I want and you see when I scale it too big it'll turn gray that means it's not gonna fit I'm over the dimensions of my printer I think like 119 or 120 is the max so let me get under that something still still saying it's too big there we go now it looks pretty good and that's loading and it says it'll take about three hour three and a half hours to print it 77 grams 25.98 meters of filament to print this and then I'll go up to file and I can save it as a G code in my case maybe your printer takes an STL file if so that's awesome but in this case we can save it as a G code you know type what we want to call it save it as a G code I'll put it on the SD card put it into the printer and print away so that's how you do that thanks for watching this video number three comment if you want me to try to make another video using 123D I'm not sure if I have too many other ideas right now I'm sure I will make more in the future uh, with using this program it is really cool lots and lots of uh, cool things you can do with it as you can see here, noxad.org, that is my website, just telling the truth, check it out, I got all types of 3D printing stuff there, you can download, lots of tutorials, help, videos, um, everything, technology you can imagine, um, pretty much everything on my website is free, I don't think I have anything that, that costs money on my website, um, so you can go there, check it out, see all types of cool stuff, you can get in contact with me. Um, like my Facebook page, it's just called Noxad, N-O-X-A-D on Facebook, and you can message me from there if you have any questions or comment on this video. Please like and subscribe also. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Have a good one.